if there's a big fish. Oh my gosh. I think it's a snook. He nailed it as I was coming through there. Oh yeah. Nice fish. He's not super big. But it's a nice snook to start the day off. Nice one. Nice snook. Not too bad. Not super huge, but not real bad either. Caught him on the Z-Man paddle tail, which I normally troll through there. Um, fished on a quarter ounce jig head. But uh, that's it there. Not too bad, he's probably about 22 inches, not, not keeper size. But um, he hit that thing hard, like he was like a ton of bricks. It almost knocked the rod out of my hand. But that was a good little first fish of the day going through there. Hold on, let me get another photo of him right there. He is ready already. That was fun. Guys, that's why I troll all the time whenever I'm moving from one location to another. It's something about trolling. It, it gives you an opportunity to pick up fish that you normally wouldn't. So I highly recommend it. I'd like to be able to catch a couple snapper like that. Oh my gosh, it's a huge snapper. Trolling pays off guys, that's all I can say. I mean, I get rewarded with this big old slab right here. A little over 14 inches. Man, that is a big beefy snapper right there. Hey guys, so today I wanna to answer a couple questions that I've received about me trolling. So as you could see in that last clip, I caught a nice size snook just by trolling. I want to answer three questions of uh, about my trolling. The first question is why? Why I troll? Number two is what do I use when I'm trolling? And then number three is how, in essence of how long of a line or um, how long is my lure behind my kayak when I'm trolling? I'm going to start with the first question of why? Why do I troll? As I said in just this previous clip, the reason why I troll is because I am going from one place to another. I'm trying to get to a certain destination. My perspective is I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my time out on the water because I don't get a chance to fish but once a week. And so while I'm out there, I want to catch fish. So if I'm going from point A to point B, I'm trying to get to a certain spot, there's a lot of water that you can cover that are possibly uh, uh, could contain fish. So that's the why. So what do I use? Well, I typically use a paddle tail. So these are two paddle tails that I typically use. One in my right hand on your left is the Z-Man Minnow Z. The one in my left hand on your right is the Slam Shady uh, paddle tail. So these two are about the same size. I'll use either one of these. I typically will use the Z-Man more than I will the Slam Shady. I have my own reasons. Um, I think that these are just a little bit more durable, uh, but it's just my preferred preference. And why do I use these as paddle tails versus like a fluke or something like that? Is because as this is going through, you see how that tail is wobbling? that vibration is going to get the attraction of the fish. And so they'll tend to see that or feel that vibration and then strike that as a reaction strike as my paddle tail is going in front of them. And how far back do I have my um, lure? Typically, 
uh, when I'm starting out, I just cast back as far as I can. Um, so typically, I have my lure out about 20, 30 feet behind my kayak. What you have to pay attention to is the line of your lure behind your kayak. Because if you are going in a straight line, your lure is going to be directly behind you. If you take a turn, your lure is still going to be behind you, but it's going to start going in an angle. And so you have to make sure that you're free of either pylons or trees or whatever you're going around. You just have to pay attention to how far you're behind you, uh, your lure is behind you, and where you're turning your kayak. So, like I said, typically it is 20 to 30 um, feet behind me because if you think about it, as you're going over uh, a certain area, sometimes you'll spook fish. And there have been plenty of times where I've spooked the fish and I can see them go down. But then by the time my lure comes from behind me, I may have now, uh, that fish may still react to my lure. So, I typically have my line about 20 to 30 yards behind, or 30 feet behind me. So that way there's a plenty of distance for my kayak to go over and then for them to see, you know, not be as scared then and see my lure and be able to react, react to it. There's other factors into uh, the type of lure that I will use. If I'm in the wintertime, the one principle you want to know is you need to downsize. So I use the three inch uh, paddle tail in the wintertime exclusively. In the summertime, I will still use the three inch, but there are times that I can get away with the five inch because the bait fish then in the summertime are much larger. Two, the fish will also go after a bigger meal in the summertime because they have more energy from, you know, warmer water. In the wintertime, they have, the fish will be a little bit slower. And so they will typically go after a smaller fish or the bait fish will be smaller in the wintertime. They're more, you know, tiny fingerlings. And so that's why I use those in the wintertime. All right, guys. I hope that explains a little bit of what I do, why I do it, and how I do uh, trolling in my kayak as I'm going from point A to point B. Like I said, the biggest thing is I'm just maximizing my time on the water. If I catch something, great. If I don't, it's I haven't lost anything. I'm still going from one point to another anyway, but there have been plenty of times that I've actually caught fish um, on the way to my spot, either it's been snook, I've caught quite a few snapper. And so, yes, you will catch crazy ladyfish, but you can always use those for bait as well, cutting them up for redfish. Like I said, guys, I hope this video um, explanation helped. Try it. Use this technique when you're going from one point to another uh, and just see uh, if you can actually catch something. If you don't, you're not wasting anything. You're just, you're using that energy to go from place to place anyway. So you may as well throw something out behind you and uh, possibly catch something. If you like this video, do me a favor, smash that button. And if you have never subscribed before, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And then also share my channel with others so that way they can see the type of content I'm putting out. Remember, God loves you. God bless you, may he keep you. Peace.